Welcome to Sea of Thieves, where you can become a pirate legend. My name is Mentirius, and let's talk about Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves is a cross-platformed, first-person pirate multiplayer adventure. It's currently in closed beta for the Xbox Insider Hub, so it gives us a chance to test Sea of Thieves. In Sea of Thieves, you can start alone on a small ship, or with your friend, or with three other friends. Or on a larger ship. You can also create fleets so you can sail with all your friends together. Sea of Thieves has plenty of characters to choose from, so we got to pick our first character. It's hard to pick because they all look astonishing. Rare has a great eye for detail, and that's what you see in the environment and in the characters. Every character has his own look and his own style, it ain't a copy of the other characters. The main goal in this game is to become famous, to become legendary and to become rich. You start on your pirate hub with your friends or alone. Here you can buy uh, maps for treasures, but you can also start roaming the seas and find other ships with players and take them down to get their treasures. I played mostly with two other friends on the on the large ship. You ring them Ring the bell to get them on board. Will they come? Will they come? Yeah, there they come. Once you've found the island you need to be on, you uh, need to deal with some local skeletons and then the hard part begins. You need to find the treasure. It's buried underground. So you really need to read the treasure map and yeah, measure out where the treasure is. The skeletons on the island aren't the hardest thing to beat, but uh, don't get left behind like I did, because then you need the mermaid to get back on the ship. There are a lot of things you can do on the ship, like make music with your friends, but the most important thing is to pay attention, because sometimes ships sneak up to you, and then you need to load the cannons, raise the anchor, Put the sails to the right position and get the hell out of there or start a fight. Ship combat is the main thing of this game and uh, you can see they have a lot of details in this game. If you set your sails right you can outrun other ships but uh, most of the times you just need to keep on fighting. You need to load the cannons manually so you need to get the cannonballs from down below and you have to have the cannonballs in store because when you run out you're out of luck. All the cannons need to be loaded manually, aimed manually. Fights can soon become chaotic. You need to coordinate everything with your friends. So one needs to load, one needs to be on the steer and one needs to look at the sails. You constantly need to look around you because before you know it you will run into an island and then the ship will make water. When that happens you need to repair your ship. For us this was one lucky position. We are making water but yeah, now we can fire full on the ship. But we are also getting hit very very hard. We had two treasures on board so we had more to lose than the other ships so we made sail for an island and sold our uh, treasures and then we went on hunting again. We found the ship again and set in pursuit. Slowly we were gaining on them. This was a combat we were going to win. It was all or nothing but we were also making a lot of water because we hadn't repaired our ship when we ran into those rocks you have to repair them manually, you have to get the planks and when you run out of planks you will be in big trouble because you can, uh, can't stop the water from running in once the water is in you need to get a bucket and get it all out by hand Still we're gaining slowly and this time they made a mistake or 
Maybe we made a mistake, but we start firing on them. But we lowered the anchor to close. You can also use weapons like guns. You got sniper rifle, you got uh, yeah, some shotgun kind of weapon. And then you can board the ship. This one is trying to get away by raising the anchor. They're totally in panic. But then they got back to life and killed me. When you die, you will go in the ferry. The ferry of the damned. And you have to wait, uh, I guess, one minute before resurrection on your own ship. If your ship hasn't been sunken yet. So this is what this game is all about. If you enjoyed this review, give some thumbs up or some comment down below. Push the subscribe button or else you will go in the brick.